Good morning everyone, Nick from Meat Smoke Fire here on a blustery, 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 blustery January day. Um, welcome, first show or first cook of the year. Hopefully you're all having an excellent year so far. Um, yeah, welcome. So, usual, three cooks today and we're doing pork belly. And the neighbours are cutting down trees. No. <laughs> So, um, so we said we'd do pork belly. So I'm going to do two dishes with pork belly and one sort of dessert dish. So let's go over here, Andy. So on this egg, you'll see the temperature is rising. Um, I've been cooking a piece of pork belly on here. So let's open it up. Skin side down. Get my tongs. <laughs> Not crackled yet. Okay, this has been on since last night. Put it on at 100 degrees overnight, turned it up to 110 this morning. The internals hit 90 degrees, but it's not crackled yet. So what you need to do to crackle it is, well, first couple of things. First thing, leave it in your fridge over for a good period, uncovered, scored, uh, and that will dry the skin out. So that really helps. And then two, turn your egg up. So I'm going to get this up to about 220 degrees and it should crackle it in about 10 minutes. So it should be ready for when we need it for the next couple of bits, if that makes sense. Right, now we can do the intros. So, haven't seen her in ages, but on camera, it's Andy. Hey, haven't year. seen her since Christmas, <laughs> don't think. Is that true? No, uh, we popped over. Yes. So, Andy, on camera. Outside, at the bar, look, hugging her booze today is Mama. Yes, happy new year, everyone. <laughs> don't know why she's outside, but she did insist on coming out. Uh, and then Helena, morning, with the microphone. Yeah, everyone can hear you. Yeah, just everyone checked. can hear and uh, doing all the the questions bit. So there you go, Andy. I'll come back over here. So, what's new? Uh, not a lot really. Haven't done an awful lot of cooking because I was away skiing last week. Lucky me. We got to go to France. Um, they opened the borders on the Thursday, and on Sunday, 86 of us went skiing. Awesome, and I think only one that I know of has come back with COVID, and it's not me. Nikki's so, on this morning. Who's on? Nikki. Morning, Nikki. She was skiing with me. Right, so we are going to do uh, three different dishes. So you might have seen them on Instagram. We did them earlier in the month. So we're going to do some bao buns, which I've still left in the freezer, and I must go and get out in a minute. Where are they? In, in the top of the freezer in there. I only need three. Okay. <laughs> Usual. And a bit of um, baking parchment, please. Okay. Be quiet, you've got the mic on. <laughs> um, so we're going to do some bao buns with some stir-fried Korean-style pork belly. Uh, and then put some bits and bobs on it, so those should be nice. We're going to do a stir-fried Japanese-style rice, stir-fried rice. Uh, so you might have seen a little bowl of that. We did that earlier in the month, it was delicious. And then the last cook we're going to do uh, is here. We haven't even tried this yet, so this might be a bit... We're going to cook some mangoes. Um, so we're going to do some mangoes with a mascarpone cheese. Sorry, everyone. Uh, got music on in yeah, the kitchen. Yeah, it should be a bit of fun. So let's see how that goes. Right, over here. Um, I just need to turn on my steamer. So let me just turn this on. I need hot water to steam my bao buns in a bit. So we'll get the water hot. Um, so you're just using the Thermix. You can do this indoors, or you could do it in the wok. So in your big green egg wok, you can put some water in the bottom and a bamboo basket. That's what I was going to do until I discovered last night Helena had chucked out the bamboo baskets. Um, so um, I'm just going to get this hot. I'll put it on for 20 minutes. Right, that's going to get the water boiling in there for me. Right, this egg. Um, we're going to do our stir fried rice on here. So what we need to do first, though, is prep our sauce that's going to go with it. Andy's looking like, oh, my God, I'm going to blow away. Um, so, um, I'm going to make a little bit of sauce to go on it. So in here, I have one tablespoon of uh, water. That's it. Nothing exciting. Now, I need to put with it sake. Let's make it Japanese. So I'm going to go for three of these. Three tablespoons. If I've got that left in here. Just. Perfect. We're going to go for... Cool. God, I thought I wasn't going to get that open then. Uh, three tablespoons of mirin. So going in. 
Oh, bit overzealous on that one. Uh, but anyway, three tablespoons of mirin. Thank you, Helena. She's got me four, cool. Oh, and we're gonna go in with uh, four tablespoons of soy. Now I've got, um, only because my other soy sauce is over there and I need to remind myself, but this is just gluten free. Um, oh, I need to talk to you about the apron. Let's do that in a second. So those are all our wet ingredients gone in. Just put the lids back on because it is so breezy today. I don't want these to blow away. Right, so in here, one tablespoon of water, three tablespoons of mirin, three tablespoons of sake, four tablespoons of um, soy sauce. So they're ready to go on when our rice goes. Perfect. So apron. It says Guru Golf on here. I got given this by my brother-in-law for Christmas, but Danny Bevan, who runs Guru Golf, uh, says one of his aprons, and I like it so much. It's a lightweight, waxed uh, denim, almost. Um, so, yesterday I ordered, I haven't paid for, but I've ordered some of these, but with the Meat Smoke Fire logo, but in a blue colour. Uh, so shortly we'll have these aprons, so um, yeah, love them. Um, so a lighter weight version than the leather ones that we use all the time. Right, let's go and see how our pork's getting on because we don't want to burn this. Oh, it's windy. Can you see my eggs now coming up for 220 degrees, which is roughly where we want it? You'll hear this start to crackle and, uh, uh, and so I'm going to just turn it down because the temperature's coming up. Um, I want it to stabilise at about 220. I don't want it getting too hotter because if you get it hotter than that, you're going to burn that fat. Okay. We need that to start crackling that fat. It'll take about 10, 15 minutes, something like that. So, Helena, who have we got on? Uh, so, we have got Ed's Food Fun, which is Ed Stoneham, I think. Oh, morning, Ed. Uh, Philip Sharp, Harold, uh, Kay Brady, K-Dog Barbecue, Hot Smoke Dorset, Helen Askey oh. Orange Pip. Uh, wow. Josh Smith, Mike Rose, Mark Paris, uh, Howell Griffiths, Vicky Mumford, Bonk & Co., Mark from Smoke Fine Food, who is in the middle of a storm, trees blown over and falling on their cars. Oh no! Julie Howitt. They uh, did say it was going to be windy up in up north, so Mark's up in Newcastle, so hopefully your car's all right, Mark. Karen True Love. Uh, Morning, Karen. She I was the first to go, yay, we're going, coming back. Uh, Henry <laughs> Burling, Simon Watling, uh, Jeanette Harvey, Kerry and Darren Morning, Churchill. Jeanette. Morning, Darren and Kerry. Franco, Martin. Wow, Lost Martin, them. is he back? Martin Hawkins. Oh, hello, oh he's hello. back. He was in Antigua last week in Nelson's Dockyard. Uh, Somewhere I sailed to in 1988. Sarah, as in... Blossom. Your Sarah? Yeah, my Sarah. James Hardwick. Uh, Wowzers. Loads. Yeah, we've got about 20... Oh, my favourite pensioner's on. Favourite pensioner? Bobby Fish. <laughs> Ian. Uh, he's not a pen. Well, he is. He has a pension, but he's not a pensioner. I would uh, say. Stuart from Risk It for a Brisket. Gary Brindley. Jeez. Uh, Wowzers. Mr. Tech Guy. Luke Welcome Mitchburn. everybody. So yeah, lots of people. So this egg is starting to go. You can see the fat. Can you see it on the edge here? Starting to, starting to bubble. I don't know if you can see that. Hopefully, just. But this will then start to crackle. So shouldn't keep opening it. Should give it a couple of minutes. And um, just a quick shout out to Steve WG, who's from Histon. Morning, Hizzle. Steve WG from Histon, just round the corner. Right. Um, so, let's show you what we've got. This egg, quite warm. Um, time to calibrate your thermometers. Uh, all of mine were out this morning. I've done a bit of a calibration. I don't think this one's right. I don't think this is at 250 degrees um, because of the settings. I think it's closer to 200. So I will redo this one. Um, it's showing 250, but that's just experience. Um, but it is that time of year. You need to start looking at the maintenance of your eggs uh, and also calibration of your thermometers. So um, on this one, um, I've, I've uh, calibrated it. Uh, the way to do it is you take them off. Take one off here. Let's just show you. There's a clip on the back which you squeeze. You take the, cut of the thermometer off. And then you put it in a pan over boiling water and there's a little line on it. You can't, probably can't see it, but it's about where my thumb is. That bit needs to be in the water and then it should read 100 degrees. If it's not in boiling water, obviously. If it's not, you can twist the, 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 the nut on the back 
will twist, hold the nut and twist the face till it reads 100 degrees, which is what I did. Leave it a little bit and then go back and check it again, um, which I didn't have time to do on that one, so I think that's wrong. Um, but anyway, that's how you do them. So do that. Also, check and give your egg a damn good clean. Whoop. Just drop that in the oil. <laughs> I'll fish that out later. Um, but um, we're not using the oil today, so it's all right. Um, but yeah, just uh, clean the insides. You might find over the winter sometimes, and I think one of the, Darren who's on here found his fire bowl had cracked over the winter. Hadn't used it, so um, yes, warranty replacement part. Get hold of our fresco and get it replaced under warranty. So, um, so he's got a new fire bowl coming. So do, do make sure you check all of those things. Helena's running off. I don't know what we've lost now. Anyway, right. What should we start with? Uh, let's start with... I need, I'll put, I need the pork to be ready, but it should be in a minute. So let's just go and see how we're going. Might take a slice off because I don't need the skin on all of it. In fact, that's what I'm going to do. Let's take a slice off this. Let's bring it over. Oh, you can see it's... It's going to crackle, it started, it's just starting. But I'm gonna take a bit off the end here and we'll, we'll use that for our recipe and then that bit can crackle. So let me pop that back. Okay, so um, Ian has asked, is it just the winds which causes the thermometer to need calibration? No, the, cal the thermometers will drift over time. I try not to calibrate them unless I think they're wrong because once you get into it, you start moving them, it's like that one you know, you start doing it, but just get a known source like a Thermapen or um, an Egg Genius or something like that, or a, a wireless probe uh, and use that. Uh, and once you've done that, then you will be able to uh, check your thermometer against it. If you can put them at the same level in your egg, uh, but yeah, anywhere within 10, 15 degrees is absolutely fine. So, uh, but it's just good practice to go and do it. So yeah, right. Look at this lovely pork. Now, obviously, I'd like to rest this a bit longer, but we're going to use it. I'm going to take the skin off. What I might actually do is put that back. Whoa, it's hot. Put that back on in a second. And we'll crisp that up as well. Ooh, hut, hut, hut. Right. Let's put that back on and hopefully that'll crackle. Keep reminding me about this, guys. Otherwise, I will burn it. Um, skin side down when you're doing this. Um, if you cook it skin side down, the heat from Zero. the coming through the convector will crackle the skin. If you do it skin side up, it's not as effective. Skin side down works much better. Okay? So, I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna just cut it into little chunks because we're gonna stir fry this through our rice. Oh, we'll get some rice ready. Perfect, I'll come back for that. Could you get me one of my vegetable slices, Helena? I should have uh, brought one of those out. <laughs> That'd be the third time she's been in already. We're out of practice. Right, egg over here. I'm gonna turn it up a bit. I've had it a little bit low, but if you remember, we're gonna use a wok. So we're gonna put our wok in. Um, I've got the expander basket, wok goes in, and we just wanna warm that up. So this is gonna take a couple of minutes to warm. Um, I'm going to put some ground nut oil in it. A little bit of that. You see my new magnetic? Yes, I can Yeah, look at those. Stuck on the edge of the Vlaze units. By the way, the Vlaze are going to go up in price at the end of next week. So if you're thinking about a Vlaze, this is the week to do it. Um, right, perfect. Oh, that's going. Right. So we're going to do a stir fry. So let's get this egg warmed up. That one is going perfectly. Um, boiling in here, so we're ready to do our bao buns. But I'm gonna go in. So we're gonna do uh, normal stir fry. So I've got um, four cloves of garlic and about an inch. I'll leave the top open. See, it's already warming up. So into that, I've got my Japanese sauce. I've got some pre-cooked and cooled rice. So cook it, um, put it on a baking tray, leave it uncovered in the fridge overnight, and it'll cool down, it'll dry out a bit, and then it's perfect for a 
stir fry. I have some, um, that's for my other dish, put it in the wrong place. Um, I've got, I'm going to just chuck in some carrot, stir fry that in. I've got some spring onions to go with it. We've got our sauce and then we've got some sesame and then we've got an egg to go on the top of it. Um, so that should be lush. Right. So our garlic is just, garlic and ginger starting to fry down. Now Nick from Cab Brighton, I don't know if Nick's on. I haven't seen him. Um, but uh, he's out in Thailand at the moment. He'd tell you any stir fry should be done in three minutes. Um, so get your wok hot first. That's the key. I'm going to open the bottom a little bit more. It'll get warmer faster. That's it, I can see it glowing. Right. Let that warm up just a tad. Out of practice, definitely. Oh, nose is going. Oh, that's my cling film. Oh, Any Nick, questions? Nick, this, this, this. Oh. I can't Should... remember what it was then. Your pork, you mean? Yes, yes. Sorry. Oh, no, we're all right. That's not... Let's get in there. Let's turn that over. Can you see it's starting to bubble? What you should see... Can you see now? Look, it's starting to crackle. In fact, that's not bad at all. I'm going to give that another two minutes top. Two. Two minutes. Uh, two minutes. Yeah? Uh, Mark from Smoke Fine Food said, is your wok tool big green egg? I don't think that... No, works. my wok tool isn't big green egg. I think this was uh, just off Amazon or something. Yeah. There's the Big green egg wok comes with a bamboo one. I've broken mine. Right, garlic is starting to go. So I'm going to go in my carrots just to get those started. This is going to be such a quick cook. I'll have to feed Helena and Mama. If I, go, if I get my gloves, you should be able to see underneath. It's starting to get really nice and warm now. I'll lift the wok out so you can see it. Um, Getting a nice flame going now. I've just opened up the bottom. So that's what you need. Right. Now we're going to go in with our rice. Yeah, the big green egg wok comes with the bamboo one. Um, I broke the edges off mine. Um, I'm not worried about scratching it. Some people worry about scratching their wok. If you see a Chinese takeaway, they're all in there with metal tools. Um, you will get the seasoning back on it. So we'll give that a couple of minutes. Um, if it sticks a little bit, don't worry about it, it'll come off. What you want to do is any clumpy bits, just break them down. Jeez, that wind. Right, let's leave that a couple of minutes. Let's go and rescue that pork before we burn it. Got that bit there to go in. I need to put that in and stir fry it. There we go, right. Let's have a look. <laughs> look at that. Now, I'll stand it on here. Nice. Oh, listen to that. So that's what I mean. When turn it up, um, turn your egg up to 220. Um, once you've cooked your pork, give it about five, 10 minutes. It'll all crackle. Lots of people worry about how do you get the crackling. That's the easiest way of doing it. Right. Let's grab our pork that's going to go in a rice. Sorry Andy, keep you on your toes today. Chuck that in. Now, there's two ways of doing this dish. One way is to stir fry the rice. The other way is to just boil the rice and just use short grain Japanese style sushi rice and then add the sauce and the pork and the bits to the top of it. Um, but I like to stir fry the whole lot. A lot easier. Right. Now what we're looking here to do is just get that rice nice and warm. Um, rice is the number one um, way of getting food poisoning. So the thing to do is make sure you've heated it up enough. So we will check that in a minute with a uh, thermopen. So now I'm going to go in with my sauce. Now my rice is cooked through, this will keep it warm. The sauce is going to boil off, but it's going to give it lots of flavour. Got that 
pork going through it, pork belly. Oh. So I'm going to give that another few seconds. I'm going to grab my thermo pen while I'm at it, just to check. So we want this to be above 63 degrees. We're up at 80 or 90 degrees, so we're easily there, that's safe. I've got a question, Nick. Yep. Um, so, let it be meat, as said, is looking for inspiration on ideas, or, sorry, for side dishes to go with pork and beef. Side dishes to go, what sort of side dishes to go with? Pork and beef. What, stir-fried pork and beef, or just? I don't know, I think so. Obviously roast potatoes, that'll be tomorrow. Um, right, let me just do this. Side dishes, Oh, good question. Dauphinoise potatoes. Dauphinoise, did you say? Yeah, yeah dauphinoise. It depends on what, how, what style of cook it is. So I've just chucked in the spring onions right at the last minute. So happy with those, gonna give that a second. I'm just gonna go and put a pan on here. So on this egg, nice and warm. You've seen them before, T. Falangino. Just gonna pop it on and warm it up, put a little bit of oil in it, and we'll come back. We're gonna do a couple of fried eggs on that. You could do them in the wok, but I'm gonna do them in there. So let's get this out. And this may cool down a little bit. But we can, we'll reheat it. Live dangerously. Right, so let's get that wok out. Windy today. So it's pulled pork and beef short ribs. So I'm suggesting um, mac and cheese. Well, and our, our cauliflower, uh, not cauliflower. Huh? Um, co coleslaw. Coleslaw. Yeah, we've got a lovely coleslaw recipe on our website. Let's have a look at that. We'll get this out. I'm going to put it in one big bowl because we'll all have a bit of this later. Oh, it smells delish. So there's our first pork dish, Japanese fried rice uh, with a mirin sauce, mirin and sake sauce. Now to that, we're gonna add some egg. So I'm just gonna put a bit of foil over that, try and keep it a little bit warm. Which can be really difficult on this super windy day. Hopefully we're all having fun. Right, over here, Andy. My eggs are over there, typically. Right, here we go. So, clip on the handle just to hold, make it stable. Just gonna go for a couple of... Oop, bit of... Oh. Rubbish. Morning, Sue. Can't even break an egg today. Morning, Mr. White. Morning, UK Barbecue. Morning, there we go. Green egg cow. I'll just pop those in the White bin. Barnard, Chris Perry. Handle off. And we'll get those on top of the egg. And then we're going to garnish it. Right. It's nice and warm. And turn that egg down. Let me just do that. We've got nothing Thanks in there. Back, Darren. Just turn that one down. So Darren Churchill has just said, great to have you back, guys. Best cooking show by a country mile. There's nothing on the TV. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what? And I think, I think um, James Martin's on this morning, isn't uh, he? <laughs> uh, and uh, Mr White says morning. Morning, Paul. How are you? Mr White is my roommate when I go skiing. Snores like a champion. On the first night of our skiing holiday, he missed out on eight hours sleep during nine hours because I was snoring um, on the first night of our skiing holiday. I missed out on eight hours of nine hours because he was snoring. So who, got the, who actually slept? Who knows? So we both accused each other. A couple of minutes on those. Sorry, Andy. Look. Looking good. Get those bad boys out. Yeah, right. So next dish, we're going to do the bow buns. So these are... I had a go at making bao buns this week. What a palaver. 
Um, the first one came out really well. The next ones were just shocking. So um, I bought frozen ones. So um, we are going to set this for 15 minutes. And we're going to pop. I'm just going to do three. They're just going in the top. Just going to steam them. And put that lid on. Um, can you get me a tea towel? Sorry. Oh, man, you're needy this I'm just, morning. it'll make it better. <laughs> so they're going in, they're going to take 15 minutes to steam. So what we're going to do with those, sorry, a bit of foil's gone. Um, what we're going to do with those, we're going to put a Korean sauce with them. Um, so I'm going to get some more pork belly. So while that sits, I'm going to get a bit more of this pork belly with, what I'm going to do is take this, the, the crackling off and we'll then put it back in. That's going to bug me now, it's flying around. Um, one sec. Oh, he oh, loses his glasses. Take them off anyway, I don't need them. All right. Do you want it on the top? Ah, here we go. Yeah, so what I'm going to do, um, to stop, if you've got a steamer, to stop the water dripping onto your buns, which is what you don't want, if you put a tea towel over the top and then put the lid on, the tea towel will soak up the liquid and stop it getting wet buns. There you go. Tip for you. Right. Who's on there? That's going to be a miracle. What? That tea soap. Yeah. So we're going to get some of this pork. Oh, it's going to be good. Probably enough for three. We're going to keep that. I'm going to Why wrap you this. Three? There's four of us. Well, because my steamer only takes three buns. That's oh. why I said, can you get me three buns? I'm going to come back to this in a second. I'm just going to wrap it and keep it warm oh, while we make our sauce. Eggs. Right. Right. So this. Here's our rice. Come back to that in a second. I've got a photo of this anyway. Let's get those eggs out. Whoop. Oh, a little overdone, but looking good. <laughs> just take that off and pop it on the back. I'm just going to pop this. Everything's filling up with leaves. Pop that on, we'll come back to it. So let's dress this one. So I'm just going to get some sesame seeds. A few sesame seeds over the top. I've got some Japanese um, chili. So. We'll get some of that on. That will spice it up a little bit. I thought you were about to say, can you go and get it? <laughs> no, I've got some. Now this stuff's like rocket fuel. Um, chili, chili oil. It's got a little thing, so you don't need much. Just a couple of drips. Or more. That will spice it up. And then I'm just going to get a bit of coriander. A bit of green. You've got to have a bit of green with it. And I might actually steal from the other dish a couple of slices of chilli and we'll pop that over there. So get a look at that one Andy. I think we'll just let Mama and Helena go for it. Oh, excuse me. Right, I did bring them a fork each. So you've seen it. Well, wow. get eating. Let us know what you think. Mm. Go on. <laughs> Mum's wearing the cor <laughs> coriander. Coriander's halfway cor around the garden. Did I? Mm. Good. Mm. Get in there with the eggs. Right. So, next, our bow buns. 15 minutes they're going to take on there, but we need to make a sauce. So, we're going to come over here, Andy. So, you've seen me do this one before. It's my usual Korean barbecue sauce. So we're gonna get a tablespoon and a half-ish of, um, I never pronounce it right, guajang paste or whatever it says. Again, T. Falingenio, whoops, T. Falingenio pan. Did you see that fly off? 
So I get a bit of that. Put that in there. We're going to put in some soya, fermented soybean paste. Now you don't have to put this in, but if you can, it's great. Just one teaspoon, large teaspoon of that. We need some soy sauce just to water it down a bit. So about three or four tablespoons of that going in. Some runny honey to sweeten it. A couple of tablespoons runny honey. Uh, some brown sugar. So this is just soft brown sugar. We're going to dissolve that into there. Uh, and juice of half a lime. Now I've got my lime squeezer. Just to give it a sour taste to it. I thought that was pepper, wasn't it? it was a Lovely. And then I'm just going to grab a wooden spoon <coughs> covered in turmeric. And we'll give that a little stir. Now we want to warm this up because this is going to, the pork is going to go in this. You see that, Andy? Yeah. Right. So let's leave that. Remind me in a couple of minutes I need to get that off. So while we're doing that, we're going to get dessert. So, if I clean down just a bit, where have all the dogs come from? I don't know. <laughs> don't know if you can hear them in the background. I'm just going to go and give Andrew a right. mouthful. Mm. Any questions, Helena? No, I'm just give Andrew a mouthful. Look. Put it in there. That's cool. Mm -hmm. Is that good, Andy? Andy's not a big pork fan either, are you? Oh. Right, let's wipe that down. Get those out of the way, put them in the bin. Hand. So, mangoes. I'm gonna, gonna chop and grill some mangoes. Let me just check this isn't getting too hot. No, we're all right. Just know to look because I burnt it before. Right, so the mango um, has a stone, but it's fairly flat, so we're going to cut down either side of that stone. So hopefully, spin it around like that. Stone's in here, I'm not going to worry about that bit. But what I do want to do is just score the flesh, but not cut through the skin. So just using the point of the knife, and then I'm going to come across it. Okay, do the same with this one. How's the rice ladies? They're hoovering over there. Can you make sure it's presentable at the end because I need to take photos? <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> and then the same, one, same with the second one. So if you hit the stone, just go round it. So I just caught, caught it there. What's that? Darren said the mics are fab. Obviously, I've been in the house and I remembered there was music on, and he said, I'm just waiting for the moment one of you forget and goes to the loo. Yeah. <laughs> there is a mute button on it, but Helena hasn't found that yet. <clears throat> yeah, these mics are great when it's windy because it's, uh, you know, got the fluffy bit on top, which really helps. So, our mangoes. Whoa! Oh, three second rule. Two second rule. Three second rule. It's only family. So while that sauce boils, we're going to put it on this side. So I'm just going to put them on the cast iron griddle. You do about three minutes and then turn them three minutes. Oh, you can hear that. Just start to sizzle. Right. That's looking good. I'm going to take that off. Right. Remind me about those. Need another walk. Walk number two. Gonna reverse you here. Call that eggs got hot. Five minutes. We're doing well. Right, so this is red hot now. I'm gonna turn um, shut the bottom a bit because it's going really quick. We're gonna get a little bit of ground nut oil in there. That's gonna heat up really quickly. So whoop, I need my pork. Let me take my Japanese stuff out of the way. Move that over, put it over here. Oh. 
What's happening? I don't know where they're all coming from. They're in all the pans. Uh, uh, Paul, if Paul White's still watching, he's going to be in his element watching all those leaves that you should Yeah, he'll, up. he'll be telling me I need to... In fact, I might cut these in half. Just, just make them a little bit better to go in our bow buns. Let's get them in there, get a glove. So I'm just going to stir fry it, let it get a little bit crispy now. Give it a bit of texture. Let's wipe my hands. Why do they always come out in clumps, these things? So it's windy up north. Is it windy out west, Paul? Is it down in Devon? Um, I think... No, Frank, Franco said it wasn't windy where he was. OK. Well, Franco's down on the south coast. But obviously is where Mark is. I might do a little bit more. Let me get a little bit more. Oop. There we go. Give those a wipe. You know I'm going to completely overdo it. Right, you've got to be quick on this because the lid's open. Looking good. It's really smoky, so you probably can't see it, but as soon as I get this off, you will. Now we're going to go in with our barbecue sauce, our Korean barbecue sauce. And that's it. That's good enough. Don't want to burn it. So, let me grab that. I'll shut it, Andy. Get our crackling out, pop that there. Everything is flying around. Right. Don't forget the mangoes. No, mangoes are going to get turned in a second. I'm going to get this crackling. Oh, definitely crackled. Need my stirrer. No, I think it's all nutmeg, but it'll be cold. So don't... Oh, look at that mm -hmm. sticky Korean pork belly. Right, got my crackling ready. My bun should be ready in seconds. This is working. Let me just give my hands a wipe, and then we'll turn our mangoes while those buns finish. Clean pair of these. I'll turn this up a bit. Are you chilly, Andy. Yeah, um, If your cast iron grids have a, oh, can you know, I might to put it on the, there for a second. Um, a rusted just uh, over the winter, like mine did. Just give them a good rub down with a bit of. Uh, bit of foil, you'll see it everywhere, a uh, bit of oil on it and uh, they'll be back to new, which those are doing well. Let's open that up, just need those to speed up a little bit. Right, let's get on our bowels. One minute I reckon we can cool those. Let's have a look. Oh yes. I'm going to turn that off. Perfect. Can you see those in there? Lovely, soft bow buns. Right. Let's get these three done. Are they wet? No, they're dry on the top. So, they should just open up. Whoa. I've got a set of mini tongs here. Exactly for this. <laughs> in with a bit of that. I'm going to do three. Let's do all three at once. Move our pork along. We'll let the ladies have try one and then we'll photograph one. The website. Oh, 
little bit of pork in each bit of spring onions Oop, I haven't done this end one, spring onion bit of chilli, so this is just uh, sliced chilli just to perk it up <laughs> this time <laughs> bit of chilli in there, whoa wind stay it's blowing a hooli uh, bit of our crackling, you've got to have some of that crunch in there the crackling in there now if you had extra sauce you could put extra sauce in um, I'm going to put some a little bit of uh, coriander in there, 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 there. there yeah yeah my mangoes a little bit of coriander yeah well we'll, we'll... <laughs> mum just wore most of the coriander yeah the yeah it's flying around so let's get these on here Andy pray it doesn't get too windy now, you could, if you wanted to go even more chilli, a bit of sriracha. Yeah, mm -hmm. coriander's going to blow everywhere. But I'd say those look pretty scrummy. Let me just check my pork over here, just in case. Mm. Oh, did you get a zoom in on those, Andy? Yeah, I did. Oh, okay. oh so a quick question, mm. Nick. Cast iron grid difference between the flat side up or down or should it always be flat side up well either way um, the thinner side is great for steaks and chicken so if you look at the cast iron grid the, the bars are like that they're triangular thinner steaks better for um, thinner side better for steaks and chicken fatter side better for for stuff that is um, uh, can fall apart so vegetables and fish let's take that over we'll get them to eat one yeah, I'm going to get the mangoes. I'm going to take this over and let them eat one. Yeah. <laughs> you can have one of those between you. Slice it. I'll give you a... Oh, that is delish. And then at least we keep two for... This might not work. Oh, it's going to work. Here you go, Mama. One for you, one for Helena. Oh, looking good. Oh. Right, let's have a look at our mangoes, Andy. You want me to try? Oh yes, starting to caramelise, oh perfect, that one's good, that one's lovely, that one's lovely, so it's just this one, we'll go with three. Right, I'm going to put them back for a second while we just finish those, and we're going to make a sauce for them, so really simple, so let's, uh, I'll come around this side a little bit so we're not with all that pork, so in this bowl, for about 20 seconds until it blows away, we have caster sugar. I'm going to add to it mascarpone cheese. I'm going to put the whole pot in. So everything's going to blow away. Don't worry about my glasses, Andy. Get the mascarpone cheese in there. Now, I need to mix it. It's also really cold out, but we'll get there. Um, half a lime. That will loosen it a bit. Where's my squeeze R? How are we doing, Helena? She looks like she's doing all right. She's got a mouthful. Are they good? Yeah, I'm good. Okay. <coughs> Very nice, aren't you? We'll get one, Andy, later. Right. You get the duff job, don't you? Us, but, you know, I mean... Right, let's get that all mixed together. Ooh. Bit falling out there. Coriander left over from the other dish. I am the messiest chef. Cook, not chef. Right, we've got that. We're going to put spring clove. No, I'm going to mix it through. Some um, lime peel. Zest. Zest. Give it that extra limey flavour. There we go. And this will start to melt when we get it on top of those mangoes. <coughs> Need a drink. So, ah, oh, while we're... No, I'll do it in a minute. Remind me to show you these. Nick, I've got a question for you. Yeah. 
so uh, Tony Pessel, I think his name is, says his fire often burns straight down, leaving lots of unburnt coal around the edges, meaning direct cooking isn't that great. Any tips on getting the coals burning across the whole pit? Uh, you can put more than one fire lighter in if you need it across the whole pit. So um, normally, I know I can feel it, she, <laughs> she's going, you've got a bit of drip on your nose, that's Carlos. Uh, my friend Carlos always has a drip, you know. Anyway, um, no, if you want to have your whole surface direct, then put st light it in three places instead of one. Um, but use a bit more coal and let it get going. And it will soon, leave the lid open a bit longer than 10 minutes when you start, it will soon spread. Simple as that. Right, to get these uh, mangoes off, Andy, we'll grab Thank you. our board. We're going to grab our mangoes. <laughs> and the purpose, and these are going to be really hot, so this will be quite difficult. We'll do it in the little dip. Unfortunately, the slather boards, you can't get them anymore. Those. What we want to do is kind of turn them inside out a bit. You see that? So push them down on the edges like that. I want to pop back, but that's why we scored them. Didn't do that one very well. Need to score that one deeper. But what you're trying to do is open them up so that then, when I get my sauce, don't forget the sugar with the yeah, basil. Yeah, got the sugar and the basil. I'm going to put a bit of this dollop of this on each. I'm never pretty, am I? No. In terms of cooking. <clears throat> easy on the oh, eye, hello. though. Hello. Oh, you're so easy on the eye. You're probably much. close enough there, Andy. <laughs> probably heard that. Yeah. <laughs> Get that. And then we're going to do one more thing. I'm covered. Get these. Remove those over slot. Oh, that's delicious. That cream is delicious. I need my knife to just give it a clean. So what have people been cooking? Um, what, what's been well, your favorite uh, thing I'm, that you've I'm, cooked? I'm, um, I have to report that Franco is only doing his first cook of the year today. Franco, that is, that's terrible. There's no excuse. I that's a red card. Yeah, you can't not, you know, oh, foil everywhere. Uh, right. Martin's doing some veal. It's, uh, it, it sounded lovely. I can't remember. Doing what, some veal? Yeah, but it's a, like a ribeye cut, I think he said. Oh. Martin, and that sounds Franco epic. He's doing some pork on the let's do. Who's doing pork? Franco. Franco. Good stuff, Franco. At least you're out there. Right, some basil leaves. I know, I'm going to julienne them. Ah, oh, Martin's doing a veal joint. Veal joint, that sounds good, Martin. Right, bit of, bit of, uh, this is going to, it's going to go everywhere, but you get the idea. Bit of basil, and then to finish it off, a little bit of sugar on the top. If it wasn't sweet enough, been mango. Oh, so Jeanette Harvey did bouillabaisse yesterday. Oh, Bernie's like a bouillabaisse. did burgers last night and he's got braised brisket cottage pie later. Wow. Terry is doing lamb tomorrow. Let's apparently, bring this Darren, over. apparently Darren had a bit of a shocker with his egg maintenance. Yes, well, I, was, I was mentioning Darren's the one who's... Uh, let's pop that on there, even oh, though... Right. And, and Ange Crane is doing lamb... Oh, she did, she's done her first lamb gyro. Giros, how do you say? Giros, yeah. yeah. On, on the Kebab. rotisserie, it was Kebab. a great hit. Oh, good stuff. So, there you go. First cook of 2022. Bravo. Uh, <laughs> we have our pork belly uh, bao buns with Korean barbecue sauce and crackling. We have our Japanese-style stir-fried rice with eggs with a bit of chili, Japanese chili oil on the top um, and some sake, mirin and so on. And then we've got our mangoes, which you can then just scoop out with a mascarpone, a sweetened mascarpone sauce with basil and uh, just a sprinkle of sugar on the top. I'd say that looks all right for a first cook. There you go. Right, how do we do on time?
Look at that, bang on time. Well, five minutes over. Oh, those, 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 the, the dishes. Oh, the dishes, yes. So next week is curry week. Boom. Andy's happy. Um, I'll be I'm, back. I'm calling that. I'm calling it curry week next week. Um, Helena, and I've not used them yet, bought me these two lovely Balti dishes for Christmas um, from the Birmingham Balti Bowl Company. Um, I'm not on any commission for these, but I love the look of them. So we're going to use these on the egg next week, do some curries, um, do a couple. So over Christmas we did uh, some curries and oh, they, they were fabulous. So we're going to do some of those. So um, we'll use these, we'll also use some other stuff. Um, but yeah, curry week next week, we'll give that a go. Andy's looking happy. So any last comments? Are we no, all good? Uh, I think we're all good. Everyone's, you know, look, says looks great. Uh, oh, so, uh, yeah, let it be meat's doing beef short ribs tomorrow. Lovely. Um, yeah. Perfect. Happy anniversary, guys. Oh, so thank you. Yeah. Baby. Yeah. So happy Andy, Andy just wished us happy anniversary. It's our wedding anniversary tomorrow. Yes. I, I'm a bloke. I've got to look confused. I think it's three years. Three years. <laughs> Thanks, Mama. Three years. Should know it's not that long, is it? But we've been together 27, so uh, that's <laughs> that's what counts. Time. Yeah, I've done my time done exactly. Time. <laughs> so uh, thank you for watching, guys. We'll see you next week for Curry Week. Uh, we might do a repeat of some of my favourites, like the barges, but we'll do two curries in those bowls, as well as some rice and some other bits. So mm. look forward to seeing you then. So have a great week. Um, anything from Vlaze, get hold of me now because it's going to go up on the 4th. I should have back in stock all the rotisseries. I'm sorry, your kitchen roll's just Oh, gone kitchen roll's gone everywhere. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I should have back in stock all the Let's Q stuff hopefully next week. It, is, it has left Holland. It's on its way. But who knows how long customs takes these days. Um, so we'll have the carousels. We'll have the um, tandoor um, rings to go on the top. Um, so we'll definitely be using those. Um, yeah, perfect. All right, guys, get hold. If you want to get hold of me, do. I'm not. I'm around all week this week. I, I don't think I'm playing golf because I've knackered my leg skiing. But anyway, we'll get better. Right. See you all soon. Cheers. <laughs>